future doesn't exist today. I'm talking now with you. I don't know what will happen in two minutes, in three minutes, in net tomorrow. I'm not sure about what is going to happen. So worrying about my future doesn't serve me because at the end I will be wrong, right? So my past is finished. So I can, you know, recalibrate, think about it, put it romantically, you know, as I want, but it's finished. And my future didn't come. Why should I worry about it? I don't know what's happening tomorrow. I can cope with it. I am strong enough to cope with anything because I'm centered, as you mentioned, because I'm positioned on what's happening now with my family, with me, with my inner being. Welcome to another episode of Speak Up, Light Up. And uh, today is actually very special. Maybe I'm mentioning every time that it's special, but every episode is special. That's how we are doing this with the heart. In reality, today I was planning to, to go to put live a different episode, uh, more business directed. But I'm not sure if you are aware, but I think the whole world nowadays is aware about the situation that is going on in Europe, particularly in Ukraine. No matter when you are watching or listening this episode, like now exactly when these things are going on, maybe on later on and hopefully we, when, when we're all in, the, in peace or in a completely different reality, I would like to bring this topic that is very essential and very important for the whole humanity. That's why the episode calls Press Your Heart Button. And I'm really glad that uh, my dear friend who I, I just called her <laughs> in the morning and asked her, please join me. We need to talk about how to start making decisions in the in, ter in times of crisis how to have this unleash this self leadership overcome panic and you know very often in business we have such situations when we have to make decision in 5 seconds and we're in the in pressure a lot of things are going on how to put yourself together how to make decisions that will affect you not only on short term base but also long term base and make this decision not just from your brain and logic. It's so much important to start listening your heart. And that's what we're going to talk about. How to unleash this light in your energy that will add value not only to you, not only to your business partners, not only to the whole world. It will just really elevate the whole humanity. I know it sounds like a lot of things to talk about, but let me bring my special guest today. It's Dr. Manel Schick, surreal entrepreneur, expert, and leader in health industry. She's founder, executive member, ambassador of many health projects and companies, uh, also nonprofit organizations. And she's also founder of My Bubble Health, a medical technology company focusing on newborns, children, and young adults which mission is to use state of the artificial intelligence, engineering, and deep technology to develop a unique set of tools to monitor health, prevent serious illness, um, ensuring an effective tailored follow-up and reinforcing the connection with parents and family. She's also a speaker. She's also author. She's wife. She's mom. And she has so many roles. <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> Manel, I'm so Thank happy. You. I'm grateful that you were so willingly to support me in this conversation. <laughs> Absolutely, Val. So I love talking to you and congratulations for your new podcast. Thank so you very much. It's going crazy, right? So, uh, <laughs> so, so quickly. So I'm, I'm really happy that you bring this topic and you know you can count on me on this kind of elements where we're talking about mental health, uh, self-development, being positive. Uh, moving forward whatever 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 the situation so all that I think is dear to us you know yeah. because I think same for you mom entrepreneur many things right citizen of the world like me we have been uh, you know meeting in Dubai and everywhere so cl clearly we, we we saw a lot of things in our lives that we can share and experience mm -hmm. you know share it with others so thank you for the invitation thank you very much also so 
Okay, we are really facing challenging time in a way. And uh, the reason why I decided to create this episode basically because I, I, I've seen a lot of posts that people are struggling focusing on work. I also received some private messages from people telling how, you know, of course you have commitments, you have something to do, but when environment around you, plus social media, plus media in general, and the media is different. We know how it works, why it's doing things, what they're doing, how they're pressing the, some specific buttons to make us feel a specific way. Despite of this, yeah. how to stay sane, how to stay focused and really focus on bringing good through whatever you're doing. So how are you dealing nowadays with everything what's, what is going on? And I know that this month you have a crazy experience bashing mm -hmm. the dunes in um, the desert in Morocco and unleashing your enormous potential. And yeah. you have to focus and prepare for these things. Besides this, you have businesses, you have business trips. How are you dealing with all these things and stay focused? Okay, so, so I'm hearing many questions here. So I will start with the first one regarding the news and, and the fear that we have through media. So whatever you open TV, read the newspapers, you have like crisis, negative news all over the world. We were talking about COVID now war, potential war, so COVID back. So obviously uh, we are surrounded with negative news. And, and clearly one of the things that I, I have learned through my experience and every you know, seminars I attended, all the books, and through also my experience living in different countries with different mm -hmm. situations. Um, first is to select the news that will reach you. So you, 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 you cannot, whatever you, the state you are, you cannot, I feel, be positive, right? With continuous negative news all over you, in your entourage, with your friends, negative discussions, uh, TV. So clearly the first thing I would say, of course we need to be uh, updated into the news, right? We need to know exactly what is happening. Yes, I'm not saying shut down all the news. I'm just saying reduce the impact of the negativity through reducing the volume of the news that you are getting every mm -hmm. day that are negative. So you don't need to know every day how many deaths we have with COVID, how many, uh, you know, uh, you, you just need to know that you are protected, that you are doing the right thing to protect your family and to protect the people around you. And that's it. Um, clearly people, um, they love information, I would say. We all love information. We all use social media. Wherever we, were, we go, we find this, the information. The information will never misses you. So you will have this information. Uh, whatever you do, even do you shut down the TV, the radio, everything, you will get the information. So I, my first thing is cut, detox. Detox for one week, detox for one day if you cannot. I usually detox... I try to detox one week social media and all this kind of, of, of things that are negative every month. I'm trying before it was difficult. Now it's one thing that I'm doing easily. So I, I do not check social media for one week. I do not uh, read the newspaper for, I, I know that I will get the information anyhow through friends, through, through you know students, through partners. So clearly it comes to me. So I think the first thing is to make sure you protect your environment, what you get, because what you get with a, will affect you. Whatever, even if you are meditating all day, even if you are a strong person, wherever you get from the outside will affect you at some point. Mm. So this is for the fir first thing that you are mentioning, the bad news that we are getting every day. So this, switch this off TV, <laughs> really stop reading posts and... Um especially newborn PhDs in politics. I don't know. We have virusologists. Now we have politicians. Like, stop it and switch on your heart. The truth is actually here. The truth that you're constantly searching, what we are searching in the outside world, it's here in reality. So that's why it's great uh, advice. Stop watching this TV. Stop watching this um not, not the fact like watching or yes. listening, but engaging with the energy 
the mission mission of which is actually to manipulate us to put us yeah. in fear to put us in the energy of despair because somebody will be profiting from it our goal when we are heart centered is unleash this light because when we're unleashing this light it's all about feeling alive it's all about feeling compassion it's feeling love it's giving care to all who needs this and it comes from the heart it's not co comes from because i must or i feel like i need to no because you just want this absolutely and to add on this point because you know you know valerie you need we need to there is a lot of people that will tell you okay if you are like saying we shut this, this the, the news how can i be in know what is going on in business in the markets and that you know this is why i'm i'm saying select the news that serves you mm -hmm. the other whatever if there is a war tomorrow or there is then it will you will know about it so shut down the news that are negative for you that are stopping you from growing because you are having more fears and fears we know scarcity blocks creativity this is for sure if you want to solve problems, if you want to be creative, energetic, to face anything, to work with your clients, your partners, to, to create an idea from scratch, to develop an idea, to buy a company, to whatever happens, you know, I'm talking business, right? I'm not talking about family management, being a mom, being a dad, and having all these kind of things going on naturally and consistently every day. So for all that, you need to be physically well and you need to be energetically well what you are saying the light the light is the energy that we have inside of us and this energy we wake up in the morning we get this capital of energy that we don't need to waste because you waste it whenever you give it to something so if you give your attention to something your energy will go there wherever your attention goes the energy goes as well so basically you are focusing on things that maybe will never happen like, for example, you know, you know that the worries that we have in our mind, 90% will never happen of the worries that we have that we're creating on the future. So basically, all these worries, they are taking energy from you being a mom, being an entrepreneur, being a, um, an employee, successful employee, etc. So clearly, focus your energy on what you have, can deal to be happy, you and your family. And don't worry about what is going on because anyhow, if there is something, it will come and you will face it. But first, be fine. Um, protect this light, enhance this light that you are talking about. And, and one other thing that I, I'm more and more uh, tuning into is how my, in, my, inner, my inner being reflects on the outside. So I tend to see more and more why I'm stressed I attract stressed people. I attract stressful situation. Mm -hmm. I attract stressful kids that will annoy me more than they're normal, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you are annoyed internally, when you don't feel okay, when you feel stressful, etc., you attract this kind of situation. Be aware of that. I, I, you know, sometimes I'm pausing, you know, and I'm seeing around me and I can tell you by the people or the news that I get or the emails that I get in which state I am. So, so it's, it's clearly something that if you do, you pause and you, you look at yourself like, okay, now who is in me, who is around in me in my life? Who, which are emails that I'm getting? Which are the type of news that I'm getting? Which, my, which type of entourage I'm getting? You will see where you are, you as a self, as yourself, inner self. And this is how you will have to work on yourself and, and the, overcome fear, overcome mm -hmm. fear. Because fear doesn't exist. It's no, in, that's it's true. We create. It doesn't exist by itself, you know? That's so true. And, you know, I know it was in a different uh, podcast, but you mentioned really great practice uh, that you are doing in the evenings. When something doesn't work, you're envisioning how it works, how, like, ideally it should work. This is the yes. part of manifestation. Uh, but mm -hmm. what I wanted to talk about, because we... Uh, today tuning into this energy of heart and how to be this yeah. basically form this entrepreneur on a mission entrepreneur who serves yeah. entrepreneur who makes money but also everything what he or she is doing makes sense basically um and i'm reading a really interesting book it's it calls calling and there is like beautifully explained the concept uh of 
the fact, the experience that we have mm -hmm. comes from our beliefs. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, it starts from our beliefs, so it's our assumptions, whatever belief system we have. It affects mm -hmm. our thoughts. Our thoughts affect our actions, and our actions affect what, what the result we have, what the experience we have in this life. And it goes back. Whatever we experience, we are forming these beliefs. So this is in a way like a circle. And Absolutely. that's why I'm, I'm, I would like you to share this um, exercise that you are doing like in more details, because I think that's important how you are shaping your beliefs on a daily basis. Of mm -hmm. course, we have some kind of foundation, our values, some beliefs that we acquired maybe as a child, from our family, from our culture, from our environment. But yes. I think it's also so important to start like filtering it and tuning in deep into ourselves and ask very important questions. Who I really am? <laughs> what kind of beliefs serve me? What kind of beliefs don't? How can I get out of them? And what is this like, what I'm envisioning? How can I make my reality? And I really feel like now, like never, ever before, like honestly, that we human beings have such an incredible power to just make this earth shiny, <laughs> so much light, so much energy, so much power. We yeah. just don't know how to activate this, to press this right button, like switch on button, switch on this light. And part of this, I, I think this our belief system is our programs inside and also ability to change and shape. So maybe you go a little bit deep down into this topic of envisioning, forming beliefs, uh, changing the thoughts. You know, I think it's it's deep, deep, deep topic. It's something that can we, you know, we can talk for many days on that and, <laughs> and you, know, you know, so um, clearly, from my side, what I can say is, to be honest, this work, I have been doing it for 20 years and on myself first, because as a mom and entrepreneur, leaving, you know, a company, a corporate to, to build my company, successes, failures, you know, uh, being around the world, doing a lot of things. So I learn, you know, by learning. So I, I, I learn also by experiencing. And what I'm going to say, it's not general, you know, cannot be applied for everybody. You have to find the things that touch you. I read so many books. I went to so many seminars. Some of them touched me. Some other ones, others didn't really because I didn't really relate to them. I couldn't really apply what they said. It didn't resonate with me. So clearly what I was saying regarding the thoughts, you are, you are completely right. When we are born, we have nothing, like we are born, right, mm -hmm. as a baby. So some scientists say that you are, in, in, you, you, you are also, you know, um, um, resonating with the stress of your mom in the wound, etc. So there is a lot of discussion on that topic, psychologists discussing about that. But basically, we, we, we are born without any concept, without any, anything, we are, without any fear. A baby doesn't know. He goes to put his, you know, if there is fire, he will go touch the fire. He doesn't know, right? And, and all these fears that comes to us growing is through education, through our parents' fears, to our parents' beliefs, to our entourage, to the schools, the friends. And we are growing like that, you know? The key... The key um, um, age that we need to be careful with it between zero and seven. Everyone knows that. Doesn't mean that if you didn't you didn't do it before seven with your kids, afterwards it's 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 dead, right? Mm -hmm. So the key we know where the subconscious mind will take everything that is happening around like a sponge, it's before between, before seven years old. Mm -hmm. And then the analytic mind started to grow, start to grow, and then the kids start, you know, to to the, to think separately from the parents and have their own opinion so but at the end if i can tell you something so that is that is funny we are all screwed you know whatever the family you are coming from whatever the entourage rich poor this country the other country we are all i was talking to a psychologist like manel we are all screwed whatever i have kids and exactly. i know no you know like yeah we have to learn from that so it's not a problem about the past I think that the past, we all go through trauma. 
you know, traumas doesn't mean trauma a big thing. Huh? It can be just a, a little self-love or not being very being secure enough, etc. So we all go through that and we learn from that and we expand and we do great things, amazing things in our life and we become super parents. I'm telling you that because you were telling me about the exercise. And the thing is in the exercise that I was learning is we all think that past, present, future is linear. Time is linear, right? So past is the past, happens, we cannot change it, right? What if? What if I can't change my perception of my past so I can influence my future? This is why the exercise I'm doing, and I feel super good about it, and I was reading in many books, uh, it's the revision, the revision. So the revision is what is like, Every day before sleeping, re you revise your day. Mm -hmm. So there is other meditation where you revise six months before, one year before, or traumatic times that you had through you know, childhood. So you revise, meaning you change it like a movie. You change this moment. So for example, you receive a bad email, you change it. In your mind, you see the sender and you see the, the core of the email, how you want it. A bad news as a good news. It doesn't, doesn't mean that it will be magical, miraculous, and, and it will completely change. But with the time, you will see the positive things and it will influence your relationship with these people at some point because your subconscious mind will be impregnated with positive things, positive interactions. So this exercise, I do it, and I do it also with my kids. I teach them when they have bad news or soccer game they, they he you know they they didn't do well or this or that so, you know to revise it like what if what if my day was exceptional like like i like it you know like i would expect and then every day it will change it's a dynamic it's training to subconscious to see the positive and not the negative right mm -hmm. and and this an experience i'm doing since many months and and i feel much better waking up so it goes from the principle that before sleeping, you are in the, the brain waves goes down, you are in theta brain waves. So before sleeping to prepare your mind. And it goes from the principle where always sleep on a positive mindset, on happiness. Find the, the small thing that made you happy today. Find something that make you okay with yourself. And this is how you will wake up tomorrow. You will wake up happier. If you sleep stressed out with what's happening around you, you will wake up stressed out. So mm -hmm. this is why sleeping time is key because it's the theta waves and this is where you impregnated your subconscious mind. And this is scientific. Huh? It's scientific and it's interesting that you <laughs> mentioned uh, theta waves because um, I had a theta session first time in my life today. I mean, I had different kind of sessions, but I experienced how this works and it works incredibly amazing. How this reprogramming works, it's mm -hmm. science. It's not something woo -woo -woo just because you don't see this. It doesn't mean, you know, the way the theta waves, they do exist. Absolutely. And the, the power of this is there are tools that can help us to get out of the programs that are not serving us and mm -hmm. to really reprogram, re rewire our brain and to have the programs that actually we would love to have. To, to be flawless, like easily get what we want, achieve goals, live full of joy, have more positivity on the world. So I think, yeah, th that's why I actually wanted to, that, that you share this experience uh, with my audience, how to do this exercise. Mm -hmm. It really works. And I think training this every single day, the way how you think, feel, this is really like like a muscle. You have to train it every single day. Absolutely. And it's a muscle you... Everything has to be trained. You have to practice. You have to practice. And clearly, you know, um, I see a lot of people, people that I'm, you know, coaching, friends and family members, entourage. And every time they listen to, to podcasts, they listen to videos, they go to seminar, but they don't apply. What's the point? Of course, listening makes you, you know, positive because you're listening like here, people who are positive and know where to go. But the thing is you have to apply this kind of thing. 
and and of course maybe you'll say oh i don't have the time i have to put the kids in bed and then i don't have the time i have to do something else i have to hurry for the take the time uh, five minutes it doesn't cost more than five minutes before sleeping the last thing that you have to think about has to be positive this is has to be a discipline you mm -hmm. wait you you before sleeping find something even though it's you had a terrible day terrible week something a small thing that make you um smile this is the thing that you have to capture keep you know and and clearly if you if you have time scripting is is, is great because scripting is putting down what you what you think and capturing it by writing so you can write a day rewrite your day rewrite your week rewrite something you know the, the thing that you want to achieve or you have you have you have you have like um, um, lived it you know on a negative way rewrite it rewrite it and you will see how you feel about things and and this is something that i feel it's working very well it's very practical very simple you can do it on a daily basis you the more you will do it the more it's become you know a habit and and this is you know the thing that i would say it's a recommendation a simple one hmm. As we're talking about the mind part, but at the same time, I, I feel it's like more also spiritual thing because we're talking yeah. about energy. So let's go in a little bit like grounded direction so that people really feel what, what kind of like tangible tools exist that I can see, I can touch, I can do something because we have different kind of people who are listening us who are watching some people believe some people don't believe so maybe somebody wants to uh, experience this from a little bit different perspective anyway so let's go to some tangible tools as you understand like yes we're talking about the heart center but to feel yourself centered calm down being uh, connected with yourself it's a cool and great um think and we, we just discuss uh, the tool that then actually it is tangible tool how to reach the state but even if you're doing these practices what is going on with our mind it will definitely find the way how to trick us mm -hmm. so i think a very important part in times of crisis how you can keep yourself still mindful still focused still being able to deal with things is to learn how to manage your mind and let's talk about some tangible tools. Maybe you can recommend something. What helps you to keep, like to stop actually your mind uh, traveling all over the place and figuring out how to screw. I mean, of course, for our mind, it's like I'm protecting you from something. Mm, but course. in reality, what it does, it really keeps us in our comfort zone it definitely doesn't want that we grow it definitely doesn't want that we try something new it definitely doesn't want that we find the creative solutions for some uh, particular issues or problems that we have whether in business and relationships in um, I don't know whatever in, with our health situation around and bring us like in the common sense and say you know everything is great everything is fine switch off this alarm inside nothing bad is happening but our mind finds the way how to trigger some situations as a result we fall back we are spending so much time to change ourselves but mind is a really tricky thing so what's some really um, people like easy <laughs> i know it's not easy but let's say simple things uh simple but not easy uh tools you can suggest that people can maybe practice nowadays to still keep focused move forward and live their life because in times of crisis it doesn't mean that your life stopped no. you're still able to create because you are we are still breathing we're still living we're still can change no absolutely no, you, you cannot define your life your future with the crisis and react be on a reactive mode all the time right so because there will be there will be other crises all the time even if it's not political health crisis even in your family in your entourage in your company whatever there will be crises all the time there is crisis right so are you going to select the reactive mode where and if every time there is something you will react badly be stressed get in the fear mode in the protective mode that you know as you mentioned the mind is constructed that way 
because at the time we had to protect ourselves from dinosaurs from you know from the, yeah. the you know we are talking about you know all 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 beginning of time so we needed this and you need to have this kind of fear to to um, um, see danger for your kids for you the fire this you know it's simple things and 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 thanks to our mind we apprehend you know the danger and we can protect ourselves and don't do uh, things that can harm us you know so this is a good thing this is the, the good thing about this this part of the mind you know mm -hmm. but don't let i would say the fear um, be the only model you are living with right it's not normal because today is like okay it's normal we have to live with the worry we have to you know and this kind of things is not is not a good thing right i will give you an example that maybe will not relate but you will you will think as a mom uh, about it there is a mom there is two moms so you ask one mom did your kid has measles no and the other one did your kid has measles not yet so imagine the mind and it's normal you know it's not yet like i'm expecting that's coming because i think it's coming obviously her kid will get measles maybe right so clearly um, it's how you see life it's how you see things everyone has a glass right we have all glasses right different glasses unique glasses unique filters you and me we will see the same news but we will not react the same way right because we don't see it doesn't touch us the same way right it doesn't resonate the same way so clearly i would say first thing is surround yourself with positiveness and it's not like just i am great i am fine i'm like affirming yes affirmation work but first thing is surround your world capture good vibes good vibes can be super nice coffee in the morning alone with a nice music just five minutes to start my day with the music i didn't hear so many years i put it on the background of the house because it's something that puts you know um the rhythm in the house and, and the vibes are positive can be okay i'm taking five minutes extra shower because I'm feeling relaxed with my shower. It can be really small things. And I, I, and I can tell you from experience, that means I started to put my jazzy music in the morning. I was like, why am I not doing this? And I love jazz, I like, love the crooners. Yeah. I was putting them. And the kids were around like, you start your day with a nice, a nice vibe. And we don't think about it, just music. And you start, wow, you wake up, you have this music for the kids. You take your coffee, you have habits. I take breakfast with my kids and, and it's small thing. And obviously something that we need probably to think about future doesn't exist. Hmm. Future doesn't exist today. I'm talking now with you. I don't know what will happen in two minutes, in three minutes, in net tomorrow. I'm not sure about what is going to happen. So worrying about my future doesn't serve me because at the end I will be wrong right so my past is finished so i can you know recalibrate think about it put it romantically you know as i want but it's finished and my future didn't come why should i worry about it i don't know what's happening tomorrow i can cope with it i am strong enough to cope with anything because i'm centered as you mentioned because i'm positioned on what's happening now with my family with me with my inner being so if you are looking for practical there is this kind of meditation where they tell you because meditation some people like tell you i don't have the time it's long i had to go in a, in a quiet room but can, can you imagine with the kids no quiet room so i would say the only thing is to take five minutes you know to start your day by saying okay i'm fine i'm secure i'm safe am i safe right because if the worry is the future so now am i safe i am i great in great health am i fine so build on that okay i'm fine i'm safe i'm secure you know and i can cope with anything and i will and these are the elements that makes you you know steady and makes you you know um really anchored anchor on the, the time right now and it took me i'm telling you this with a lot of easiness right but it took me a lot of time to understand hmm. and to apply this. But it's a, like, it's great tool. It's really amazing just to check 
on yourself like in now living now living present you heard about this a lot but nobody really tells what does it actually mean okay i understand this but how can i do how can i ground myself especially when i'm in panic or especially even excitement sometimes excitement is also uh put yourself out of like pull the ground <laughs> how to say you're not grounded anymore you're too much excited you're too much there it's it's good feeling but it's really you you're not in the state to make the right decisions for yourself in the present moment so yeah thank you for sharing this tool and from my side i would just add um important part of breathing breathing sometimes we are experiencing an anxiety and almost heart attack not not because we actually have it but just because we're not breathing in, a, in, a, in the right way, not deep enough. And we're breathing just in our chest. And sometimes even it's stuck here. It's stuck in, and we again, <laughs> come back to the center. Yes, this, all the fears, all anxiety, all stress stuck here. So we cannot really breathe fully, but your full breath should start in your actual gut, in your stomach. When you are learning how to breathe deeply and bring this focus and this can be also like part of the meditation you will actually notice that you don't you are not so anxious anymore you feel like there is no real fear around and it's actually actually grounds you you feel present great breathing technique is actually bringing uh your nervous system in a neutral state let's say bringing your mind in a neutral state is when you are not too excited but also when you're not too anxious is bringing this um, uh, active and passive <laughs> uh, nervous system in in neutral mind basically in neutrality is basically when you close one of your nostrils like let's say with the thumb you don't see me if you're listening to this podcast if you're watching youtube obviously so uh, with a thumb, we are closing our one nostril. We are breathing in like eight seconds. We just count eight, breathing in through the right one. Then we close the right one and breathing out through the left one. Then we're breathing in through the left one and we're repeating the cycle. Uh, I can leave the link down below that to, to, to this uh, breathing technique that you can practice it. And practicing it from three to five minutes per day, or basically when you feel like you are too excited or too depressed and you cannot make right decisions now. In business, sometimes we have this kind of moments when we have to decide A or B <laughs> or C or go for something different new. Don't make decisions now. Take a break, break, breathe, go out, breathe. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, then come back. With this clear and neutral mind, you will make the right decisions that serves you because you will be able to hear yourself. When you're in panic, you're not listening yourself. You're listening so many outside noises. And that's what actually leads us sometimes to making the wrong decisions. So, yeah. As you can see, and, and something that is clear and i would say to anyone who is following this podcast this is work like it's there is homework and you need to exercise so you will not come overnight you know and become completely zen completely detached and completely fine whatever happens and be completely happy it's a work and people who don't want to do the work they don't see the results obviously and it's not because listening to this kind of discussion is great because it makes you feel right great and makes you feel happy and bring you some joy right but you need to do the work what you were saying the breathing technique the, the small meditation the scripting you know to put your 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 ideas in mind and correct some behaviors the revision the night positive attitude all that a small thing but it's work you have to think about it every day if you want to have results it's like a muscle it's like sports so it's clearly it's it's a work habit and and i agree with you with the breathing technique for panic attacks and stuff. It works very well. Something else that I find it from uh, Wim Hof um, is the cold shower. Mm -hmm. And it's also used with depressed people, you know, that cold shower boosts the system and make you euphoric. So in a small cold shower, one to two minutes after your hot showers makes you 
feel great and energized in the morning. And these kind of small things step by step will bring you to the state that you want. Um, detached, more happy, joyful, down to earth, like, you know, grounded um, and, and, uh, and, you know, enjoying the life and coping with everything your way. Yeah. Yeah, contrast showers really works amazingly. I decided to practice it. Um, I think second half of last year, it really changes a lot. Plus, ladies, if you're listening to us, um, it really keeps you young, forever young. Thank you very much, Manel, for joining. And I hope our amazing listeners, viewers, you will try the things. I mean, it's so easy to say, oh my gosh, things are happening to me. Breathe. You know, now you're <laughs> equipped with some amazing tools and try them. At the end, I always ask um, my guests to envision things that I really believe that we're all creators, creators of, of our yeah. own universe. As a Manel creator, uh, what will be your message uh, to all people who are watching us, who are listening to us, what is your what, what your voice would like to project, um, how your voice wants to inspire and light up? I would say, um, yes, we are creators. We can do anything. Anything is possible in our life. Whatever our age, whatever, you know, the situation we are in, the country we are in, we can do whenever we put our mind to the only thing that has to be done is to work on ourselves and, and also um, be aware that anything that's happened in our life is also our responsibility. We have to own it and work on it. This is what I'm saying clearly to any entrepreneur, any person who wants to create an idea and go from it, there is always a solution. It will always work out if you put your passion, your purpose, on in all in line right but this has to be in parallel of your development mm -hmm. clearly you have to work on yourself you have to do the work and and it's like something it can be simple just reading your book just being you know uh around people who are positive who will encourage you shut down the bad things the bad news the the you know the, the negative thoughts of people the negative you know fears of people and focus on yourself your energy, your joyful moment, and continue and persist, right? And one of the sentences that I love, because we always talk about persistence, and persistence is key for entrepreneurs. It's really key, whatever you want to do, but specifically for entrepreneurs who take a lot of risk, change their life to, this, to, 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 to create their ideas and go for it. Two things that I want to say. The first thing, persistence is not just go, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Persistence, it's once you have taken a decision, you take a decision, you'd be loyal to it. Mm. You go until the end of your decision. This is what is persistent. I have a decision in mind. I chose my path. I'm going. I'm going until the end, this path. Doesn't mean that you have not to be flexible and arrange and tailor and fine tune, take into account the circumstances. But I would say, Persistence is key. So make a decision for your life. Make a decision for yourself and stay loyal to you because you are the one who will be, you know, in charge of your life. And, you know, so clearly stay loyal to you and you will see you will attract loyal people and positive energy around you. But the first thing is the work on yourself. Thank you. It's so beautiful. It's sad that I told the truth. In sport, we say you never lose until you continue showing up. So mm -hmm. to summarize everything, I just want to, we both want you to inspire, to encourage, to show up for yourself, commit to your life, commit to your true self. Switch off this, like really cut yourself from the game of politics whatever is going on sometimes in the outside world of course in a way it is a projection what we human beings are creating on some level we chose to go through all these things and experiences to grow but at the end of the Absolutely. day this is also how we can make this choice do you want to continue be part of this 
energy or you choose the truth of your own light switch on this heart heart button and you will see how many changes in life you will experience so it's time Absolutely. it's time to speak up light up yes so don't forget to follow subscribe and share this episode if it resonates with you thank you very much